In the year 2009, a video spread on YouTube showing a crocodile of a type of caiman standing at the edge of the water. A longfish was resembling an eel, and as soon as the right moment came, he pushed the fish aside and attacked it with all his might, and he actually hit the fish. But unfortunately, this was the last attack attacked by the crocodile in his life, and the crocodile died after less than two minutes and remained a dead body. And the reason why this happened is that the fish that the crocodile decided would be food was not ordinary. It was the electric eel. Otherwise, it is clear from the name that it produces electricity. Electricity was able to kill the size and strength of a crocodile. The electric eel gets its name from its shocking abilities. Special organs in the eel's body release powerful electric charges of up to 650 volts. That's more than five times the power of a standard wall socket. Can you imagine its ability to produce electricity? Although electric eels have the power to be the bullies of the Amazon, they're actually not very aggressive animals. The eel uses its shock to stun prey and keep predators at bay. Electric eels are nocturnal, live in muddy, dark waters, and have poor eyesight. So instead of using eyes, electric eels emit a weak electric signal which they use like radar to navigate, to find a mate, and to find prey. Once prey is found, electric eels will use a much stronger shock to stun prey, usually smaller fish. Electric eels can grow up to 8 feet in length. Despite their appearance, electric eels aren't actually eels at all. They are more closely related to carp and catfish. The shock of an electric eel has been known to knock a horse off its feet. Now that's shocking. There are over 800 species of eels. When eels are mentioned, people often think there is only one type of eel. This is far from reality, as over 800 species of eels exist. Interestingly, these 800 species are further grouped in 8 suborders, 19 families and 111 genera. These different species of eels are scattered in different climes of the world. However, Moray eels are the exception, as they can be found almost everywhere worldwide. Moray eels have secret jaws. A large family of angliforms, moray eels don't produce much suction when they bite things. So to drag prey down their gullets, the fish uses a secondary set of pharyngeal jaws, hidden deep inside their throats. Lined with wicked teeth, the jaws can shoot forward and grab struggling victims that are already trapped between the other set of jaws. Eels swim in the most amazing manner. It's no news to even a child that fishes swim, and since eels are fish, they automatically navigate their habitat in the unique way common to fish. What's fascinating, however, is how they swim. Since they have no caudal fins, eels move about in the water through undulation, which involves moving their whole body like a rolling wave. This method of movement is similar to the moving pattern of the snake. However, eels involve their anal and dorsal fins by elongating them along their bodies to help them stabilize in the water as they swim. If that was amazing, here's more. Eels can swim backward. They do this by reversing the direction of the wave they create with their bodies. Eels aren't related to snakes. Forget the uncanny resemblance between snakes and eels there is nothing between them. While it's true that one of the first lessons in evolution is to check for similarities between the species involved, it doesn't work in this case. Eels are fishes that have evolved to survive in crevices, holes, and small spaces. Snakes, however, are snakes. They have scales on their bodies, which is absent in almost every eel species. Eve also have fins and gills, which are peculiar to fishes. An eel cannot live outside water, just like most snakes cannot live in water, apart from a few like the water snakes. So, both creatures are entirely different. Eels are flat and transparent at birth. Many animals are minute when born, but the eel is not satisfied when being dismissible. It prefers oblivion. Eels are flat and transparent when they're born. These little ones are called leptocephalus, the Greek word for flathead. Until now, there are still many mysteries surrounding the birth of baby eels and how they mature. These baby eels are very different from the adult ones, making them difficult to track. Baby eels start life in larvae form, 
from which they move to be glass eels and then to elvers. When they become elvers, they seek out their juvenile or adult habitat. Although eels look frightening with their snake-like body and large teeth, they are not known to attack people. The only possibility of eels attacking people occurs when they feel extremely threatened or if you encroach into their habitats. While eels don't usually bite, it is not a great idea to be bitten by one, as it can lead to loss of body parts or limbs. Eel meat is huge in Japan. Inagi Don is a popular summertime entree in the land of the rising sun. Its main ingredient is the roasted eel meat, usually taken from a Japanese eel, Angela japonica, or the American species, that is served with pepper and sauce over a bed of rice. Questions have been raised about the sustainability of harvesting American or Japanese eels. However, seeing as both species are classified as endangered, by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. Moss eels are nocturnal animals, meaning that they operate more during the night time. This is one of the reasons why it's a lot of work to track and study them, as they're rarely seen. Most eels have terrible eyesight. Most nocturnal animals, like cats and wolves, usually have the characteristics of nightlife, one of which is excellent eyesight. The eel, however, fails in this regard, as it has poor eyesight. Their vision is so poor that there have been cases of eels biting off the fingers of those who tried to feed them. Eels have sex during the last year of their lives. Whatever the reason for this, eels wait till the last year of their lives to have sex. While scientists have not unraveled the reason for this behavior, attempts are being made to study the sexual behavior of these weird fish species that only go to breed when it's ready to die. At the end of the video, I hope you liked it. Tell us your opinion in the comment section. See you guys in another video.